All right, guys, I am in such a good mood today. This is my third video that I filmed and it's 9 a.m. I am doing great. I'm feeling so good. Anyway, that's not what you're here for. So welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm Jazaya. Today we are talking about how we can film with our phones and create high quality, crisp, clear, footage with our phone. If you guys have been wanting to create YouTube content and you only have a phone, do not worry about it. I'm here for you and I'm going to show you the secrets onto your phone settings to create high crisp clear content. I really do use my phone a lot and it's because of the settings onto my phone that make them crisp clear and even better than my camera. Most phones nowadays can film in 4k. My camera can't do that. I have the Canon T5i and it doesn't even film in 4k. So yeah, filming on your phone is totally doable. So let's get started and I'll show you guys my little tips and tricks. So I'm all about having crisp clear content. I really like making sure that I'm always clear. I'm always checking into my viewfinder to make sure that I'm always in focus and constantly hitting refocus onto my viewfinder. Now the trick is with your phone to make sure that you are always crisp and clear and have that bright, nice background. You have to film with your phone turned this way. So when you're filming, I want you guys to start filming like this because the quality of the camera in the front is so just do not film with it. You are going to be blurry. You might not notice it at first, especially if you're editing on your phone, you're probably not gonna see it. But when it's uploaded to YouTube, it is not going to be clear. It's going to have that little kind of blur to it almost and it's not going to look nice. But if you film with your back camera, try it out. You're going to see that the quality is so much better and it seriously looks like an actual Canon or like a really good quality camera. I kid you not. It looks so good. Try it out and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. You're going to be shocked on the quality difference from the front and the back. Another thing is I want you guys to make sure every time that you're about to film, take your clothes. Just take your clothes and wipe like this. It's not hard. Just do it and do it for a really long time. Like just make sure that all of your fingerprints and all of the oils from your fingers are completely off of it and it's going to come out so much better. You don't wanna be filming for like hours and then when you get the footage onto your laptop, you see that it's like blurry the whole time because you left your oils from your hand onto it. You do not want that. Even if you're filming in the front camera, just make sure to always wipe. I do this even when I'm taking photos. It's honestly a habit for me now, like I'm just always. Okay, one second, let me, let me get my camera ready. Ooh. Gotta make sure that camera is clear. But to be honest, okay, I know that it can be really hard to film like this. I know, because you can't really see yourself. You have to like put a mirror so that you can see yourself and it's even hard then to know if you're in focus, I know. So let's say if you do film in the front, okay, I do it sometimes. Just make sure you're not staring at yourself the whole time, because it really comes off in the camera and like it's, it's really hard to focus. I don't know if you've ever seen a YouTuber do that before where they're just looking at themselves the whole time and then they look back at you for like two seconds and then they look back. At, it's hard to create that connection. You don't really have that connection like somebody's talking to you like I am right now. Imagine if I was filming and like this the whole time looking at myself. No. Not my thing. Always stare straight into the camera and get used to it. That's why I like to film on this side because number one, you get high quality, but you can't stare at yourself. I do the same thing with my actual camera. Like my viewfinder is over here and I don't have the flip out for my camera. I don't have that. I have it straight to my laptop so that my viewfinder is over here and I can't stare at myself. Whenever I need to take that break to see if I'm still in focus, I'll look down okay and I look straight over here and I don't have a viewfinder because if I had a viewfinder I'd be like looking over here and I don't want that so now we're gonna get into my gear if you guys want to see my gear that I use into my room I do have a tips and tricks series so go check that out I'll have all of my gear that I use or in the description down below I also have it there as well but go check out my tips and tricks series it is so good and you're gonna learn so much more about YouTube so go check that out so let's talk about the gear that you are going to need to start filming with your phone actually hold up let's get into iPhone settings because I feel like that's like what you need to know first and then we'll get into gear because I feel like the iPhone settings is just more like what you came here for, right? So let me record my screen and I'll show you guys the settings that is going to change your quality. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into my settings and then I'm gonna go down to my camera. Camera and then, okay. So right here you see that record video and it says 4K at 24 FPS. That is what you wanna have it in. Usually it's around here, it's the 1080p HD. Usually that's what your settings is originally, but I want you guys to take it down to 4K, 60. I want you to take it down in 4K. If you can film in 4K, film in 4K. It might be a little bit harder whenever you're editing your videos. It might take up more memory and stuff like that, but if you can film in 4K, do it. Like I cannot film in 4K with my camera. Like my actual Canon camera, I can't do that. So film in 4K if you can. Then you're gonna go to preserve settings and you're gonna turn on camera mode and filter. I just like to turn on filter because why not? And then live photo as well. And this is going to give you so much more options when you are filming. So you definitely want those settings on. I also like to turn on my grid. So what my grid is, is basically when I turn on my camera, so I'm going to turn my camera on and you can kind of see that there's like a grid onto me. So when it's like here, I can kind of even out everything. Like my couch, I can make sure that it's completely straight. So the grid is basically these lines right here that you see. And I like having them because you can kind of place your phone and make sure that it's completely straight the way you need it to be. But yeah, always have the grid on if you are filming with your iPhone. It just makes it so much easier to film and have everything nice and straight. It's such a cool feature and I'm so happy that iPhones actually have that. So that is it for the settings. Now let's get into what you're gonna need for gear. So the first thing is going to be a tripod. Oh, the first thing is going to be a tripod. The tripod I have is around like $50. It's not expensive at all. It comes with this cool little thing that holds your phone in tight. So when you go ahead to film, let's say if you are filming, ayo, oh, my fingerprints. That's why you need to clean your camera screen. So let's say you're filming with your phone, you can just tighten it up and you can tilt this any way that you want. This tripod is so good for filming, whether you have a camera or an iPhone, it is so good. It can be small, it can go tall, it can be whatever you want, it can go down, up. This is like the best tripod for filming. It really is and it has like a little green thing right here where it tells you if it's straight or not. Another really cool thing that came with this tripod was a phone um, clicker thingy. So see it automatically just went blue. I didn't even turn it on yet and it's connected to my phone right now. That's how fast that connects. It works so well and it takes your photo. So let's say if you're doing a thumbnail or something like that, this is what I use for all of my thumbnails to take the picture. See how it just turned on? And right here on top of it, I wanna show you guys, you can put your own microphone there so you can get a good quality microphone and stick it into here. You can get like one of those really bright lights that you can stick in here as well. I'm probably really loud right now, sorry about that, but I could take my microphone and place it on top of this if I wanted to. So if you're getting a tripod, check this one out. I really recommend it, it has helped me so much into my YouTube journey and just filming onto my phone. Now moving on to the rest, and that is going to be a microphone. Microphones are so important when it comes to filming. I think the light and the microphone are way more important than your camera itself. That is what's going to break or make your video. So make sure that you're focusing on audio. For my audio, I use the H6 Zoom. And this microphone is just so good when it comes to S's, but it's really on the pricier side. I don't suggest it if you're just starting out onto YouTube, but you do not need this microphone. It's like 600 or $700 for this microphone, Canadian. So you definitely do not need this. But if you are looking to invest into a microphone, then yes, I would suggest this 100%. It is so good and makes my voice so crisp and clear. Let me show you guys what it sounds like whenever I don't use the microphone. This is what my voice sounds like. I've shown you guys in a previous YouTube video, but this is what my voice sounds like whenever I don't use the microphone. It's like very pitchy and it's not fun to listen to. So if you guys are looking for a microphone, then yeah, this is a really, really good one. If you don't have money for a microphone, there's plenty of options out there. I know on Amazon they have microphones that are like 20 bucks and you connect it straight to your phone. So it goes straight into your phone and records with that quality. 
invest in that. The one thing I would tell you to invest in is definitely your microphone. Even if it's $20, the quality is so much better than what your camera is going to pick up. The iPhone quality is actually not that bad for the mic. It's not as bad as in the Canon or anything like that, but it still is not like the greatest. I would invest into a $20 mic. And if you can't, then I would use the Apple iPhones. Those work so good. And that's what I first started using whenever I started out on YouTube. I use the Apple earphones and it worked good. Like if you don't have money for earphones, just at least use your Apple earphones and like put the mic beside you while you're talking. So have some like a little stand beside you and put the mic onto there and it'll pick up your sound really good. A lot better than what the iPhone will because the iPhone's probably like far away from you. Now for lighting, if you're wondering about my lighting, I will put a video right here. I'll pop it up right here and I'll put it in the description down below on exactly what lighting I use. I already created like a whole video on that and I suggest how I don't recommend getting a ring light. I know a lot of people say with your iPhone and stuff like that, get a ring light and it's going to create good quality. I don't believe that at all. And soft boxes, I don't like soft boxes. I show you cheaper lights that work a thousand times better and create like a flawless look onto the face. For just a quick example, this is what it looks like when I don't have lights on. So you can see that lights play a really big role whenever it comes to filming, especially with your iPhone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this other tips and tricks on YouTube series that I've got going on. And if you want to see more, make sure to go check out that series. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below and I'll make sure to answer them. And I'll see you guys in the next. Bye guys. Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite Cause I needed more from you Oh, I wanted an explanation Red solo cups all over the floor And your friends